All right, seventh graders, this is to help you with question seven on CR number six. It says, fill in the ratio table below. Now your ratio table, it sets up a scenario. I believe it says you're going 50 miles on one gallon. So for mine, might say I'm going three miles on one gallon. So I, and your table set up this way. So if you're like, oh, this doesn't look like my CR. Well, your table, I believe, is set up vertically instead of horizontally, so I can rewrite my table vertically if some of you need. So there's zero, zero, three miles, one gallon. You could say 12 miles would be how many gallons would you need? I believe this is how your question goes. 18 miles, how many gallons? 21 miles, how many gallons? So, but this is the, the gist of it. <laughs> If I want to look here and I'm going across the table, I say, gosh, how do I get from three to one? Some of you are like, oh, I divide by three. Some of you are like, gosh, that freaks me out. So maybe for you, you might have to say three miles is one gallon. If I double that up, there three more miles gets me to six. I'm up to two gallons. Three more miles gets me to nine. I'd be up to three gallons. It would just take me a long time, but I could eventually say three more miles, 12, gets me up to four gallons. I think it's just easier if you're going across your table. How do I get from three to one? Oh, three divided by three is one. Oh, so what do I have to do with my 12? Oh, 12 divided by three is four. And if you, you set up the little scenario, every three miles I'm using an additional gallon, it just will take you a long time if you have to get to a number like 450 miles. You just look at your connection right here. Three divided by three is one, 12 divided by three is four. Oh, I just have to take 18 divided by three is six, 21 divided by three is seven. So let's see, 12 was four, 18 was six, 21 was seven. And then they want you to just plot your the points that you get. Now your scale won't be this because your scale probably is going by 50s or whatever, I, I can't remember because you have to get all the way up to 450. But these are essentially the points you need to plot. I have zero, zero, my scenario, three miles for one gallon, 12 miles took four gallons, 18 miles took six gallons. This must be like a huge tanker or something I'm driving because this is silly. Um, 21 miles took seven gallons. And then you're just gonna go ahead and plot those points. This is zero, zero, three, one, three, one. You start at zero, zero, you go three to the right, one up would be the point three, one. That's the point three, one, three to the right, one up. 12, four would be 12 to the right, one, two, three, four up. Again, your scale will be different than mine, but this would be the point 12, four, 12 right, four up. 18, six, 18 right, one, two, three, four, five, six up. That would be 18, six. And if I had a graph 21, seven, 21 to the right from zero, 21 to the right, seven up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be the point 21, seven. I can tell you this is a proportional relationship. Yours will also be proportional. So yours, now I don't have a straight edge, so mine's gonna be ugly. I would pick a ruler out if I was you, if they want you to, oh my God, my line's so ugly. <laughs> If I had a ruler in front of me, that would be a beautiful straight line. This is actually a proportional relationship, straight line through the origin. If I take every x and divide each x by 3, I get each of my y's. So I have a beautiful proportional relationship. All right, I hope that helps. Again, your scenario happened to be 50 miles used a gallon. Me, whatever crazy huge vehicle I'm driving, I'm getting three miles to a gallon, which is just silly. Okay, I hope that helps.